Ooh. Chapter 12. Remember, I love you. Okay. Oh, hey, look at sleazy eyes. You're too quiet. Explain yourself. God, dude, Ren's getting... What the hell happened to him? <laughs> He's so different. His clothes, his hair got darker too? Okay, geez. Has it got darker? I feel like it has. I feel like it was a lighter gray. I'm not up to anything weird. I'm meditating. Meditating? I've met a lot of people in places you've sent me. Talking with them and taking Neved's advice into account. I see. Well, you should talk more. It gets boring when there's no one saying anything. That's surprising coming from you. I thought you hated when Matalus and the others spewed out nonsense. Don't know what you got until it's gone, I suppose. I will admit, working has become easier, but becoming absorbed in your work can be detrimental to one's health. True, now that you mention it, I'm kind of bored myself. I may just go through the desert and train. Maybe you waste some time in Sashilla again. You've become quite accustomed to that dusty old village there. Made some friends last time I was there. The people there are nice. All right, well, off you go then. <laughs> okay, see ya. I'll be back tomorrow or something. <laughs> I understand that you and Ren have been partners for quite some time now, but I'd be wary about getting too close to him. Nived, could you mix me a drink? Get some program to work on, and it's going to take all night. Or got some program to work on. Yeah. I still don't understand this, dude. Why is Ren there? I have, I still don't get that part. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are we doing? Oh. I can't believe that horrible per- I've been that horrible person this whole time. I didn't even know it. It's all because of what happened at the Garufin Chambers. If I had just been more obedient and listened to the eldest's words, this wouldn't be happening. I understand why this info was kept hidden from me, but I wish they had more faith in me. Mark, I'm not unreasonable. I would have understood their intentions. And now on top of it all, we've been registered for a stupid tournament no one cares about. Has she heard of the grand prize? I don't think she has. Ah, I hear complaining. Child, what ails you? Oh, Mr. Soda, sir. I didn't mean to cause you trouble. Nonsense. It was no trouble at all. I have heard, I have heard your frustrations. It is an understandable reaction, but please also realize that we had no ill will. Yeah, that's the common reply lately. I get it already. I've said it time and time again. I don't need everyone's protection. I'm capable. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that you are. However, it extends beyond just being able to handle yourself. Things that cannot be explained properly. <laughs> Why can't it be explained, Soda? Why can't anything be explained to me? I'm tired of being pulled around and being told it's to protect you. Hmm, perhaps it's time then. So you wish to know everything then? That's what you truly want? <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I truly want. I see then it seems like it's time for my purpose in life to finally be fulfilled. I believe that you are ready to learn the truth. However, you will need help from your friends. Please go fetch Aaron. Go fetch Aaron. You know where she is at the moment, yes? Uh, GDC? She said she was going to the Dream District to handle things with the tournament. Ah, yes, a peculiar situation. I heard about that from the eldest. Anyhow... I believe that further inquires, wait, further inquiries are handled at Axis High University. Go get Arian, and while you're at it, go get Melia as well. She should be at the Hospital of Hope. Meet me in my room once you've gathered everyone. Uh, yes sir, I'll go get everyone right away. Thank you for this. It's no problem. Wait a minute, how did Soda know that Melia is at the Hospital of Hope? Wait, wait, wait. How does he even know who Melia is? <laughs> uh, what is Melia doing at the Hospital of Hope? Is she okay? That's nah, probably because of Venom. Yeah. Venom has been turned to stone. I guess that ex does explain it. What happened to Venom is a tragedy, but we have no time to sit around and cry about it. Do you know how to get to Axis High University? All you have to do is go north 
of the central building and then cross the bridge. The gate to access high will be right in front of you. I know Aaron told me to stay with someone, but I seriously need some time alone. Don't worry, if I feel myself starting to go berserk, I'll just run away from people or something. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll just run away. It's not, not even a problem. <laughs> uh... Okay, see ya. <laughs> I insist we go together. Alright, fine. I just wanted some alone time, but seeing as though I'd probably get scolded again, I'll comply. Let's head north of the Dream District first. Okay. Mostly because I don't want to walk walk back on my own. <laughs> I'd rather have the fast travel. Uh, we're not too far now. I'll go on ahead. Alright. Uh, so just up here... Lavender has been assigned the ER on the ground floor. Where else would she go? She hasn't even been looked at. Just push the cart, Rebecca. What? Ma'am, do you require help? I would be happy to... Uh, no, I can take care of myself, thank you. The hell? That won't be necessary. I just have a small wound that needs to be looked at. I'll be on my way, thanks. Oh yeah, it's probably kind of from the, uh, the lash from, uh... Batamax. Listen, it's nothing serious. I just need a small wound looked at and treated. I believe Cassandra made an appointment for me or something. I'll take a look at it into my database and see what we have. Go nuts. <laughs> Excuse me, but are you Matalus? Uh, you're the one Miss Cassandra sent, yes? Yep, that's me. No need to look up the appointment, nurse. I have this one covered. Oh, uh, yes, sir, of course. Miss Metalis, the doctor will see you now. Yeah, I got that. I was only trying to help. <laughs> so, Doc, you always bring your patients to this creepy room? So, Metalis, do you always spew nonsense when you speak? <laughs> Touche, it's just a little weird. To answer your question, no, I don't bring anyone down here, period. However, seeing as this is a special circumstance, I'm willing to make an exception. Hmm, a special circumstance. Are you part of... Team Zen? No, I couldn't be bothered to take part in a disorganized organization. However, I am affiliated with Cassandra, and she is part of Team Zen, no? So you two have some mutual partnership or something? To some extent, yes. I couldn't care less about what she does. All I care about is my research. I see. This is a considerable wound. How'd you manage to get this? I fell on a knife. <laughs> Pardon me? You fell on a knife. <laughs> Is that what you just said? <laughs> yep, just walking around in the kitchen and oops, I fell on a knife. <laughs> the usual. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, anyway, it's not too serious. I've stitched it up and applied some antibiotics. <laughs> you know, just casually walking around. There's a casual knife just laying there tip up, I guess. How does that even work? <laughs> How... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, should heal soon. Just try not to move too much or you'll reopen it. Thanks, Doc. No problem. I'm sure you can see your own way out. Not a problem. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. What? What in the... Who is that? Who was that? I couldn't tell. Was that... I couldn't tell who that was. Hello. Is that someone we knew? Maybe. A carnival? Huh. I've never been to the carnival before. This is dumb. I want to go home already. What? <laughs> okay, damn. Somebody doesn't like carnivals. Jeez. Okay. Okay. We're back. Let's, uh... Let's go check out this carnival, I guess. Hello? An ether... What is this? Chatot vendor. Buy my very own Chatot. 15k for a chat... I'm not paying 15k for something I'm not gonna use. Wait, what? Uh, 
really? That, that? Okay. Pfft. Okay. Hello? Try our legendary challenge for a chance to win a special bread Daru Maka. That would actually be fantastic. I'm going to save beforehand because I, I really want this Daru Maka, dude. Hold on. Wait, what? All I have to do is rotate each piece to complete the picture, but be cautious. Each you, each you rotate will rotate the adjacent one, too. Oh, okay. Oh, sheesh. What? Okay, so we don't move them at all. We just rotate them, but it rotates everything that's also adjacent to it. Okay, hold on. Is there a picture of this somewhere? I need a picture of this before I do this. Um, give me a second. Holy Jesus, that took forever, dude. <laughs> that shit took forever, man. I don't even know how I did it. I kind of just got lucky in the end, but there we go. There's the finished Darumaka piece. God damn, that took a lot longer than it probably should have. Oh my god. We have a winner. I will take my Darumaka. Hello. Uh, try our high top strength test. Earn a nice and we'll refund your money. Earn a powerful. You'll get a Poke Doll. If you hit the bell, you'll receive a fancy HM. Which one? You'll have to win to see. Okay. Uh, did I do it? Oh, hold on. Item. Nope. Why is he meeping at me? <laughs> Alright, let's try the strength test. 350 a swing. I'm fine with that. I have a lot of money. I got a powerful. A stuffle doll. What? This isn't a pokey doll. It's a real stuffle. How'd this happen a second time? Just get out of my sight. I got a free stuffle, dude. That's kind of cool. All right. We can just keep... I'm guessing this is random, so we just got to keep paying until we, uh... Until we hit the big one. Gotta keep going to hit the big one, dude. I need that freaking. I need that big one. Where's the big one? Is this random, or is or am I actually doing something wrong here? I don't need any of them. None of them are gonna help my team in battle, so I don't need any of them. Oh, yeah, it's Aaron. What do you sell? Oh, ice cream. Nice. What do you sell? Oh, random things. Rare candies for 30k. Interesting. Very interesting. Three types of bait. Standard, delicious, gourmet. I'll use these three different types of bait to fish out goodies hidden in the large tank. Depending on the type of bait used, I'll fish up a lot of different things. Of course, each bait has a different cost. It's up to you to decide which one I can use. Uh, sure. 20 k Let's go for the gourmet bait, dude. Screw it. What'd I get? A dusk stone. Now, it's not worth 20k, but, you know, whatever. That is never gonna be worth- that's never worth 20k. Ooh! Ooh, earth power. Don't need it. Ooh, Fire Punch. That's kind of cool. Can anybody learn Thunder Punch? You can learn Thunder Punch. What about Ice Punch? No. Interesting. Very interesting. I already have balloons. I have a bunch of balloons. Hmm. All right, well, that's the carnival. Can I go up? Can't even go. Can't go to the actual university. Okay, fine. So let me get this straight. There's nothing that can be done. Our policies are clear. We've told you this upon registration. That's the problem. I didn't register. All res all reservations are done with a recorded interview, so 
It's highly likely that you're lying and just wasted my time. Goodbye. Ah, uh, you were no help anyway. Oh, it's you two. What's happening? Soda told us to gather you and Melia. He said there was something he wanted to talk to us about. I literally just left and now he wants me back? Ah, uh, typical. Anyway, I'm going to assume you heard, but it's a bust. We're locked in. I don't get the big deal. If you don't want to be in it, just lose. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Just show up, lose, leave. Not a huge deal. I don't get why they're making it a big deal. I'm gonna assume you heard, but it's a bust. We're locked in. Great. Aw, oh, come on. It can't be that bad, can it? Who the hell are you? I'm sorry. Did you forget your shirt, or are you always that disgusting? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, that's rude. I didn't even say anything of worth yet. Uh, we know. You look familiar. Does he? I agree, you do look quite familiar. Have we met before? Ah, you must have seen me on a poster or something. I'm pretty famous after all. Feast your eyes upon... Oh, it's Adam! But he's different, just like Valerie. Oh shit, dude. Feast your eyes upon me, Adam Might. Adam, I knew you looked familiar. Adam, don't you recognize us? Uh, get your head out of the sand. No, I don't recognize you, and how can I have sand if I'm not at a beach? Uh... Well, hot damn, it's a party out here. Uh, look at what we got here. Oh my gosh, it's the Adam Mite. Your biceps are great. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, thanks. Uh, your head is weirdly shaped. What? Uh, anyway, I know you're with your friends, but we should go on a date. Nah, I don't really like you. Thanks, though. Damn! <laughs> if you come back with a beard, then I may reconsider- Wait, what? What the? What is up with you? Fine, be that way. I get it. Speaking of which, hey you, Mark. I just got out of a really intense final, and I need a battle, yeah? What do you say? Uh, sure. Rad, I'm in the mood for a 1v1. Pick your best. Oh, a 1v1? Oh, shit, dude. Um, who would be my best? I don't even know who my best would be. Oh boy, all right, there we go, dude. We got very lucky there. We got very lucky that he missed the Draco Meteor. That's all we had to rely on was him to miss because he was faster then, uh, like, my Nine Tails is the best option for this because he has the best special defense. So I knew he was going to live the attack, but he wasn't fast enough, so he wouldn't, he wouldn't have been able to knock it out. So my only hope was for, for the Jigglypuff to miss, and then we'd be good. So, yeah, we did it. Really, so freaking lame. Really, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? For me, anyway. Let's make this a contest, shall we? Right now, that brings your wins to zero. Wait, what do you mean my wins to zero? I won! What a waste of time. We're not here to entertain you, Risa. Don't need to be so boring. So boring. I may as well call you Errand. What? Since I can feel the unwanted energy, I'll be out soon. But I've been meaning to ask, just how did you guys get yourselves involved in the tournament? I took the last spot, remember? We didn't. We've been trying to re rectify the issue, but they won't budge. Ouch. Well, at least it'll be a cool experience. No point dodging. Last tournament I heard someone got jail time for failing to report. Which is completely nonsensical. Nonsensical or not, it's the rules. As... Uh, oh well, see you guys later. I'm gonna head out myself. Since you guys will be at the tournament, I guess I'll see you there. Adam might out. Okay, I can't... So that's Adam. We saw Valerie. wonder what the hell Saki's gonna look like. Because <laughs> they're all definitely different than how they usually are. So frustrating. Just what are we meant to do about this now? We don't have a choice, so let's just get over it. Ah, uh, you're right. Uh, we're in the thick of it now, aren't we? Soda said he needed us, right? Uh, we should head back. We still need to fetch Amelia. She's currently at the Hospital of Hope. In that case, you're in luck. It's not far from here. Just head through the west gate and then north. It's hard not to miss. 
Got it. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, see you at the theater, I guess. Uh, remember, stay together. Yeah, yeah, got it. Good. Uh, see you then. Okay, so you said west and then up. Wait, where the hell are we at right now? I don't even know where the heck this... Oh, I guess... Okay. I want to explore this place. I don't think we've been here. Got some soda pop. Hmm. Won't respond. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, yes, this leads right back to the beginning. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. See, so yeah, this bridge was blocked before, but it's not blocked now. Hmm. Pokemon Hospital. We're gonna ship her off to military school. God damn. <laughs> You're going to military school. Oh, it's Jenny. Not the Jenny we knew before, I don't think. Hmm. What is this? A Thunderstone. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, that's that. Let's go up. Hospital of Hope. Hello. Cherish your life. True that. True that. Um. Okay, I guess we're going in. Hello? Ah. Uh, so you're not gonna... I guess I gotta go looking on my own. Wonderful. Oh. Well, I guess I found him. Who's the, who's the person in purple? Wait. Yeah, who's the person in purple? That's Melia. That's Canon. I don't even know what to say, Mark. Venom is... I can't believe I let this happen to her. Who the hell is Chastity? Don't say that, Melia. It's not your fault. Who the hell is this? Oh, is that her mother? Oh, that might be her mother. I think. It's the only person I can think of. Who the hell is this? This isn't anyone's fault. There's got to be a way we can help her, right? Negative. It's the same as the rest. All patients have been inflicted with this situation. Uh, the situations are all the same. No pulse, no anything. The best we can do is keep them in these pods. No. Miss Vasil, I'm here. I came here as fast as I could. Okay, so yeah, that is Venom's mother. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering who the hell this was, and now Amber's here. Amber? What? Save it. I was here in town on business, and then Venom's mom called me. Someone start explaining what happened right now. Venom went out at night alone, and she never came back. She was found in the middle of Central Square like this. That idiot. Why'd she go and do something stupid like that? Now she's stuck like this. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> Why does she always have to act this way? Never thinking about how everyone around her, around her feels. It's just like her. What are we gonna do about this? Like I said before, there's nothing to do at the moment. All we can do is keep them safe within these pods. That sucks. Everyone else in these pods, they're the same? That's correct. The man in the capsule, or the man in this capsule is the dark type gym leader. His body was found in the dream district at approximately 7.45 a.m. Uh, this is not the dark type gym leader. I would know because that gym leader is my dad. No, there must be some sort of mistake here. There's just, I'm telling you the truth, don't you Believe it if you, uh, don't believe it if you want to. Excuse me, I must make some calls immediately. 
Dude, that sounds... He, he, that guy is suspicious as shit, dude. What the hell? Amber, your dad was the dark type gym leader? Yeah. His name was Deegan. He was Tesla's husband, but... Like, like I said, he just got up and left us. I don't want to get into it, though. So wait, so Deegan's the... Then who the hell is Damien? They said Damien was the dark type gym leader. So who the hell is Damien if he's not the gym leader? Uh, we should leave. If we stay here, we'll only get more depressed. Amber's right. There's nothing to do here. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Nobody's gonna talk? Nobody at all, really? Really? Okay. Uh... Guys okay? Not exactly, no. Nice of you to ask, though. We gotta just keep moving and let Venom rest. This sucks, but what else are we gonna do? I'm gonna host the tournament, that's why I'm here. You guys should come around when it starts, okay? It'll cheer you up, I promise. Just hang in there. Uh, before I go, Mark, there's something I wanna give. Never mind, I don't think this is the right time. Damn, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Maybe next time. Well, uh, what do we do now? Huh? You want us to go with you to Route 9? What for? Oh, I see. Uh, I guess we should head over there now, then. Wait, Melia, there's something I want to ask you about, or talk to you about. Oh? I was given all of Veronica's possessions when she was put into her pod. That includes her Pokemon and the like. However, she had something that I actually think belongs to you. Oh? It's this box. It says it's from Venom and Mark. Oh, it's her birthday gift. It's a red ribbon. Happy birthday from Mark and Venom. I, Mark, thank you, for, thank you, thank you so much. This means everything to me. I have to go. Oh yeah, dude, that was her. That was for her birthday. I forgot about that ribbon. Damn. Melia, wait up. I'm glad that I was able to cheer her up, even if just a little. I think I'll wait here for the time being. Please look after your friends, Mark. Okay. Dude, was it just me or does, uh... Did what's-his-face there? The doctor. I don't know if it was just me, but he seemed a little suspicious there, dude. Like, after... Like, he was like, oh, yes, this is the dark-type gym leader. Then Amber comes and says, no, it's not. And he's like, wait, what? It's not? I gotta make some calls. Like, what? Like, what? That man sounded suspicious as all hell. Like, we know he's not a part of Team Zen, but... I feel like if he's involved with Cassandra, then he's probably doing some shady shit. Probably, most definitely, doing some shady shit, dude. I feel like there's a good chance of that. Anyways, uh, so looks like we gotta go to Route 9, I guess, to meet up with them. Oh, who do I mean by him? Uh, don't worry about that. Venom's dad, maybe? <laughs> Brother, who else would him be? Mark, I wanted to apologize for the way I acted back in Central Square. I was so filled with despair that I just lashed out. If I said anything hurtful, please know that and please know that I am sincerely sorry. I felt the same way when I lost my salamence back in Kugirin. Despair makes you do unintelligent things. It's pure reaction. Still, I thought it would only be right to apologize. Uh, the hell? Yo, that's... That's not regular... Wait, that's a Mega, isn't it? It's either Latios or Latios. I don't know which one. I... In their Mega forms, I can't really tell the difference. Like, obviously, normal Latios is red. Normal Latios is blue. But in their Mega forms, I can't really tell the difference. But look at that thing, dude. It's a Mega. He has a Mega Legendary. Who is he? Look at what we got here. Excuse me, is there something you need from us? Wait, I recognize this person. I would hope so, since you just saw me a few minutes ago. Did she? Well, not exactly, but it's good enough. I don't understand. No, I know you. You were the dark-type gym leader who was in that pod. Wait, what? Wait. But how is that possible? Little known fact about me, I'm kind of an artist, a sculpture. The name's Damien. I'm the most I'm most certainly not the dark type gym leader. 
In fact, oh, I'm the dragon type gym leader. So, so that's the, okay, so now we know all the gym leaders at this point. <laughs> We know all of their names, I think, except for one, the ground leader, unless they, like, I know they told us the ground leader was, like, in a, he was the leader in, like, a bad area, the Badlands, but, uh, I don't think they told us his name, but besides him, we know the names now of every gym leader. So, now we know the dragon gym leader, apparently it's Damien, and the dark type gym leader is supposed to be Amber's father, Deegan. Uh, if that's the case, then what's the reason behind claiming to be the dark type gym leader? I've always had a preference for dark type Pokemon. Is that why you're riding a Latias, which is neither dark, which is not a dark type? But due to circumstances, being the dark type gym leader just wasn't in the cards. Spreading the rumor that I was, and then placing a fake of myself in Central Square was bait. Bait? But for whom? What's the reason? You should know who, Canon. That is your name, isn't it? The person I was trying to bait and had... And had to, wait what? The person I was trying to bait had to have known my type preference. You don't mean Alexandra, do you? Who the hell is Alexandra? That's exactly who I meant. Alexandra, my sister. What the hell is happening? Who's Alexandra? See, she and I have been playing a little game of hide and seek. She took something from our village that we desperately need back. I would have caught her too, but I revealed myself too early and she figured it out. Uh, what exactly is that, may I ask? It doesn't have a name, or rather, it didn't. Alexandra will bring upon the end of the world if I don't find her. Nonsense. I've met her before and she was a wonderful person. I refuse to believe that she of all people would be responsible for something like this. It's not Alexandra herself that I'm worried about, but the thing traveling with her. Can you clarify? Alexandra was alone when I met her. Alone? Did she not have a girl with her? Dark hair, dark skin, ponytails, and psychic ability? Nim? That sounds like Nim. Any of this ring a bell? Yeah, Nim. That's what I was thinking of. Psychic powers. No way. Could it be that you're talking about Nim? Nim. Nim was a good person. She wouldn't hurt anyone. And even if she could, she's no longer around. Nim is dead. Nim. Nim. That has to be it. Only it would pick a name so close to Nimmy. What? Anyway, you said she's dead, right? I don't think so. She died in front of Mark and I. She was killed by Team Zen. She fell into a pit of lava and... It can't die from something like that. Your ignorance is unappreciated. Damn. But expected. Nim, or whatever you call her, isn't dead. Her body must have reformed somewhere. Else. <laughs> you think Nim is still alive? Absolutely. And if that's the case, then I can no longer waste time. You, Cannon, if you're who I think you are, then perhaps things won't be as bad. If you see Alexandra again, I want you to tell her that she can't run away forever. What the heck are we supposed to do with all this information? Yeah, dude, so much shit's just happening out of nowhere. It's possible that Nim's alive and that she's dangerous? It's too much. Mark, are you searching for something? Someone? Alita, she's here? If she was, it appears that that person has left us. Maybe she went back to that place on Route 9 you mentioned. That would be a smart assumption. Anyway, we should get moving. Uh, no, I'll meet you there. Very well, we'll be off then. See you there, Mark. I'm so confused, dude. I want to look around a bit just to see, but... Have we met this Alexandra person? I don't remember anybody by the name of Alexandra, unless it was like a brief moment that we met her. Hmm. Okay, how's it going guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Rejuvenation. Last time things happened, this time more things are gonna happen. So let's continue on. Mark, there you are. Uh, we've, all, we've all made it now. 
I've never been to this part of Avium before, but it's absolutely gorgeous. A land frozen in perpetual autumn. It's peaceful. That aside, is this the place? Yeah, that it, that, 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 what? Yeah, that is it. Alita, is that you? Looks so different. I almost didn't recognize you. <sighs> She's already pissed. Yeah, uh, well, this is what I look like now, so deal with it. You look different too, but I didn't point that out to you. <laughs> There's no need to be rude. No, she's right. I'm sorry. I did mean didn't mean to be that way. No, I'm uh I shouldn't have overreacted like that. There's a lot diff there's a lot different about me that you don't understand. Please follow me. I'll tell you all about that on the way. Okay. Have I finished exploring this area? I don't even know if I have. Okay, so this is just a bedroom. These all just rooms. Looks like it. Oh, this leads outside. Of the Ooh, what is that? Solar blade. The heck is solar blade, dude? I know it. Oh, it's a goldine fountain. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, what's in here? Hello? Hello? Who are you people? What are you guys? What are you guys doing in here? Are you here to watch us practice for the festival? If that's the case, I'm afraid you're fresh out of luck. All my sisters have scattered themselves across the territorial region of Avium. How could they do this right before the festival? We need to practice. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Would you really do that for me? I very much appreciate hearing that. They wouldn't have left this island, and they wouldn't have gone past Route 9. So that leaves Route 7, 8, 9, and Grand Dream City. Please bring them back quickly. Okay, we'll do that some other time. I'm already lost, dude. <laughs> I'm already lost. Where am I? Oh, I think this was uh, Aaron's room, I think. Where are we supposed to be meeting uh, the old people? Oh, here we go. Ah, Mark has arrived, and thus we can begin. So what do you want, old man? Your words are like hot knives, Aaron. <laughs> like how he's stroking his beard. <laughs> oh, man. I prefer to use the word retro to describe myself. If that's what keeps you from being up all night, sure. Anyway, uh, I'm ready for soda, soda to tell me everything in detail. Uh, you may begin. I know I said I would tell you, and you will know in time. Uh... <laughs> Please calm yourself, child. You will know everything. <laughs> Alita, cool down the flames. Be patient now. Sorry. <laughs> yes, uh... I asked you to gather Melia and Aaron because they are required for things to unfold. With their help, your true self will be revealed. However, you will live it, not learn it. I'm confused. I'm gonna live it? Oh god, we're going back to the past. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> back to the past. You brought me a crystal? That's a time splicer crystal, Soda. Uh, where did you find this? I've been ordered by a higher power to present this crystal to you all. With this, you can visit Avium's past and experience the events there. What the heck? Hold on. Okay, we're back. Time travel. So what exactly does this have to do with Alita? Be specific. I believe your truth will be found in the Sheridan village in the past. Okay, so we're not going back to, you know, uh, old Girin, I guess. We're going back to old Sheridan village. I see. In that case, we should travel immediately. Ah, uh, before that, I must say one last thing. This journey is for Mark, Alita, Melia, and Eren. Oh, sorry, Cannon. <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> Afraid Cannon will have to stay here as he is not permitted to use this crystal. What? I'm not allowed to go with them, but why? I'm afraid I cannot specify. Uh, that's all I can say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh, man. 
We won't be too long, Cannon. Uh, please just wait here for us to return. <laughs> here? There's nothing for me in this place. No, I think if I'm not welcome back in the past, I'll have to move forward in the present. So you're gonna leave then? I believe I'll go out on my own and find Alexandra after all. If my hunch is correct, I know exactly where she is. We'll meet again in the future, I'm sure. But as you all experience a new journey, as will I. Okay, well, uh, good luck, Cannon. Uh, you know, I'll always root. I'm always rooting for you. Eh, you'll be okay. This is stupid. No, no, no. If he wants to go on his own journey, he can. That's fine for him. Uh, thank you for your confidence in me, Mark. Melia. Finally. How do I make this thing work? Simply touch the crystal and it should activate. Like this? Okay, well, she's gone. <laughs> I'm usually a skeptic for these sort of things, but I'm open to anything at this point. I hope Cannon will be okay, but like he said, it's time to move forward. Oh, lovely. Alright, well, let's go forward. Okay, we're in a cave. And there's no way back. Lovely. <laughs> oh, Jesus, place is on fire. Uh, oh, wonderful, a forest fire. That's definitely something I wanted to experience in life. This is terrible. What could have, what could have caused this? Help me. What? Please. I was just on my way to Kugirin when... Oh, uh, she's hurt. Uh, we're going to need to get her to safety immediately. This looks like Route 4. If that's the case, then Q Girin is just north from here. We can bring her there. Sounds good. Let's do that then. Thank you. Okay. Huh. What? <laughs> Mark, did you hear all that? Uh... No? I don't know how to explain it. I didn't hear a voice per se, but it felt like something was trying to communicate with me. And it's telling me that something bad is about to happen. Could it be the Earth itself? <laughs> Who the hell? Uh, what is that woman doing? Does she not see this place burning? Uh, we should probably do something about her. Uh, not that I care. I just don't want to be responsible if something happens to her. Okay, do I follow? Oh, that's what's her name, isn't it? That's uh, the mother. Ma'am, you do realize this place is burning up, right? Too dangerous to be here. In that case, what are you doing here? You don't have to tell me the obvious. Hey, we're just looking out for you. And I'm looking out for my daughter. She ran off this way after your friend there freaked her out. Mark freaked her out. Mark and their delinquent friend. Told some story about my daughter's best friend getting kidnapped. Made her run away off in this route, and now this is happening. Wait, what the hell? That literally has no time passed in this in the in this in this time? Because that happened a while ago. <laughs> I'm assuming no time has passed then since we uh, left the past. I guess. I wasted enough time here. I need to keep looking. Okay. This is very much not our problem, but still. Damn it. Why am I like this? Why can't I just let her stupidity kill her? <laughs> hey, wait up! <laughs> Why do I care about people? <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Um. Hold on. Can I go the other way real quick? Just to see. No, okay, they tell me to follow Alita. Got it. Whoa, was that an earthquake? What's going on here? Maybe we should just... Okay, this is stupid. If she wants to die, then let her. Mark, we need to get ourselves out of here. Mark, look up at the sky. Is it a bird? It's a good thing we showed up when we did. Yeah, that old lady should be safe where she is now. Uh, maybe she won't be. Huh? Take a look at that. Holy! <laughs> Aaron, where's Mark and Alita? Beats me, I thought they were following us. 
they can't both still be on Route 4, right? Anastasia, oh, gosh, look at you, see her right there in the corner. Anastasia, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to push you this far. I was worried about your future, our future. When all this is said and done, uh, and when we return to Mi Miria, Mira, I wanted you to be prepared and live a life of luxury and accomplishment. I know you're here. Please stop hiding. Very soon a meteorite will hit this route again. And, and, oh, oh my god. Anastasia, please. You know, I was thinking of something. Is Anastasia Nastasia in the present? Maybe. I was thinking of it. I don't know. Name's kind of similar. Oh my Jesus. Well, rip. <laughs> Uh, that thing had direct impact, dude. Oh my goodness, that meteorite just fell directly on her. <laughs> Come on, Mark, we have to go see if everything's okay. <laughs> it fell directly on her, dude. Jesus, she got wiped. Oh my god. Yo, wait, is it is, is it just me or does Anast Anastasia look older? Is it just me or does she look way older than she she usually was before? Wait. 